Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. All right, so there's a question that came in, but what happens when our Schwintech slide out is racked? Now, of course, they probably didn't say racked. What they're saying is, how do I reset that? Now, the Schwintech motor, I have you know two motors and they have to be synchronized. Let's say you brought your slide in and one side makes full contact, the other side doesn't. Now, we call that racked. Here's how you fix that with the Schwintech. What you need to do is ride that out Actually push that out by pressing the button, let it go out. As long as everything's still working, it's just racked. Ride it out six inches, bring it back in, and once it hits, hold that button down for a couple seconds. Do it again, another six inches, bring it back in for another couple seconds. Keep doing that. What's happening is, is each one of these motors, they have an amp limit to them, and of course they will amp out. One motor will amp out before the other because this one's hitting the wall. We need to hold onto that button so that the other side can come in until it amps out. Each time we bring it back out, bring it back in, one side catches, the other side slowly begins to come in. The more we do that, then they'll finally reach both sides at the same time, hold that in, and when we amp it out, each time we do that, it resets and recalibrates for us. So, if your Schwintech is racked, right? In other words, it's offset. You try and take it out, one side reaches before the other, or when it comes in, and the way to tell is we wanna make sure that our slide outs are actually touching our bulb seal. In other words, the, the, the flange of our slide out is actually touching the bulb seal, right? We want those in and even. So if we're racked, out six inches, bring it in and hold that button down till it amps out. Out six inches, bring it back in. Keep doing that until finally it all comes in together. And there's your tech tip. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, but let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs and get started today. Hey, you like my new symbol? It's the swoop. Is that the new NRVTA symbol? No. <laughs> NRVTA is in America. This, yes. not so much. Let's say you brought your Swintech slide in. I'm gonna stop saying Swintech. Let's say you brought your slide out in. <coughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let's see, how am I gonna open this one? If you wanna be able to work blah, blah, blah on your rig, <laughs> Head over to our website or go over to nrvta.com and get started today. Bading, swoop. It just happened to be they, they've got some for the big and slim. <laughs> you got my voice? Yes. Slide out motors. Hey, this. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, this week, let's go ahead and talk about the Schwintech. Don't make me spell it. That's all you got.